I joined the National Guard really to, to make a difference. I joined because of September 11th. It was a sense of patriotism that kind of came over and it was like, you know what, I want to be able to make a difference in the world. I joined the Army National Guard to help people because of what I thought would be just the humanitarian efforts. National Guard has practically made my life. Um, it's given me a stable job, good money, an education. For the training, uh, for the experience of traveling throughout the world. For the benefits and for a challenge. I wanted to be challenged. I joined the Army National Guard uh, partly because I didn't know how I was going to pay for college. I joined the Guard, I think, for many reasons. One of them is family tradition. My grandfather's a retired first sergeant. My sister is in, my brother's in. My father's done it, my great-grandfather, and uh, it's just gone on for five generations now. I joined the National Guard because I didn't want to just read about history. I wanted to be part of it. I was, I was living in New York City going to school, September 11th happened. When something like that happened, it made me think, maybe there's something else out there I need to be doing. Maybe I need to do something that makes like a real difference that really impacts life. The more I thought about it, it's, it's more of, it's not something I have to do, but something I want to do. It's an opportunity to become part of something bigger. The experience in Afghanistan changed me mentally and physically. Mentally, because I am prepared for whatever come with me you know, whatever life has to offer, whatever whatever challenges life throw my way, it has definitely prepared me for that. We went through such a struggle to get to where we are today, and it's, it was a long, hard road, you know, so, so many different wars and so many different problems that we went through, but a lot of countries don't get to live like we do. You know, we're free, you know, the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, everything, the flag, it means to me just, I'm free. The National Guard has trained me to be able to step in and take charge, to lead soldiers and civilians alike to make sure that whatever the mission is, it gets accomplished. When we come out to do our job, we excel at everything we do. In time of a natural disaster, a hurricane or tornadoes, or just bad weather in general, we put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. When we come in there, they know we're there to help. When they see us, they know they can count on us for everything. You have a greater sense of responsibility, of duty. You look at things not just as how can I benefit, you look at it as how can I contribute. And it really makes you feel good to be able to give back to the community, to give back to friends and family. It feels good to help people. I have flooding a lot during the winter and there's nor'easters and you know blizzards and what we do is, since I'm a transportation unit, we go and we take the trucks and we go and take people out of their houses and rescue them and bring them supplies. During hurricanes, we'll provide humanitarian missions. We carry around food, make sure everyone um, is safe. We clear, clear roads, um, in some cases provide electricity and... Delivering food for people that, you know, lost their home. Fill sandbags if it was a flood. We would bring people water if they needed water. Um, we would provide security for businesses and buildings in case there was looting. For example, with Hurricane Katrina, we had units going down there to help out. I couldn't imagine not helping out, you know, just watching the news and not doing anything about it. I was activated for a tornado. The people whose houses were destroyed and whose lives had just been devastated, they were so supportive and so thankful that we were there to help them. It just made me feel wonderful, really. We've had uh, many state activations from guarding the airports to power plants, other state buildings. For example, when we did the airport, we helped out with the security uh, entry and exiting of the airport. I know in the train stations, they do the same thing, entry and exit. Doing those activations, I, I think the people respond very well because they don't, they're not used to seeing us. So when they do see us at first, they're you know, maybe inquisitive as to far as why we're here, what are we doing? And uh, once we explain to them what we're doing, they're, they're very you know, supportive and they're, they go along with what we're doing. I think people perceive soldiers or guardsmen for heroes after 9-11. I mean, they saw our job and they saw what we did as far as helping to secure the city and it opened their hearts and they felt like we were actually there to protect them and they felt warm and safe. It feels good to know that what I'm doing is not just helping myself out, but helping the greater good of not just my city or my little community, but the nation as a whole. We help 
on the front lines in Iraq and we help in our own country. Wherever we're needed, we're there.